You've written some really insightful things, and uh, this is one about Tiger Woods, and I'm going to ask you to read it, just the parts that are in uh, yellow here, uh, because it's actually, and I've been trying to write about Tiger Woods since he's a teenager, it's actually one of the most insightful things about Woods I've ever read. Uh, so if you'd be kind enough, to, this is from a, a blog that Ted writes called One Shot at a Time. One Shot at a Time. This is, you're, you're flying over to Wales right. for the 2010 Ryder Cup, and you're about to get on a plane, probably leaving Atlanta. Yeah, we are. We're actually we're at the uh, team hotel at the Atlanta airport, waiting on all the players to arrive. And Wood showed up about 30 minutes before departure last night wearing a black Nike warm-up. He had a baseball cap and a black Nike athletic shoes on. He slipped into a seat next to Overton, Jeff Overton, who was engrossed in a conversation with his back turned. Tiger tapped him on the shoulder and placed his face nose to nose with Overton. When he turned around, he about fell out of his chair and spontaneously responded, it's Tiger Woods. And that brought the whole place down. And what precipitated that whole thing was Jeff Overton had made a comment when he had been named to the Ryder Cup team that the thing that he was looking forward to most was getting to know Tiger Woods. Because even though he had played on the tour, he and Woods had never played a practice round together. Right. They'd never played a competitive round together. And that's what precipitated that whole deal. Well, I think it's great because, you know, we who cover Tiger Woods, we never get to see a real human moment like that. And it's a little edge on your part because uh, Tiger's not accustomed to people writing about him in any sort of way with any real candor. We've talked about this before. And, and even though it's totally innocent, you actually revealed a nice little moment in his life that really made me see a human side to him uh, that I'd never seen before. Do you want to read this next little part where he's dealing with his, uh, sure. his little junior minions and how, he, how Woods deals with them? Once on the plane, I was seated next to Bubba Watson and right behind Ricky Fowler and Dustin Johnson. A row in front of them was Tiger. The world's number one was engrossed in a numbers version of crossword puzzles. He soon got Watson, Johnson, and Fowler engaged in the game, and they played for several hours. It was almost like a teacher giving his students something to get them calmed down. You know, and this was one of those uh, Sodeco uh, right. puzzles, and, and you know, the thing that was funny is, you know, he initially tore a page um, out of the the book. These guys took the page, they sat down, they did it. When they got done with the puzzle, they walked over, they showed it to Tiger for his approval. Right. He'd take another page out, he would hand it to them, and they'd go back and they'd sit down and they would do that. And finally, at, at some point in time, after they'd done two or three of those, they calmed down and they went to sleep. <laughs> so it was almost a page out of being in kindergarten. <laughs>